before you watch this video, please view the video entitled Limiting Reactant. In this problem, we'll be answering the question, how many moles of the excess reagent will be left over? This problem assumes that you understand and remember the previous problem. So please first watch that video called Limiting Reactants. In the previous problem, we had two givens, 5 moles of aluminum and 10 moles of HCl. We discovered that HCl was our limiting reactant. Aluminum was our reactant that was in excess. So the HCl ran out, and the aluminum was extra. And we want to know how much extra will we have after we run the reaction. Because HCl is the limiting reactant, we know that all 10 moles of HCl were consumed in the reaction. So we can ask ourselves the question, if 10 moles of HCl react, and we know that 10 moles did because it was a limiting reactant, how many moles of aluminum also react? So let's set up the problem. Start with the given, 10 moles of HCl, and then we need a conversion factor. In this case, our conversion factor will be between, between HCl and aluminum. Because we're asking ourselves, if 10 moles of this react, how many moles of this also react? So our conversion factor is 2 to 6. So what this means, if we react 10 moles of acid, 3.3 moles of aluminum also react. We know that we started with 5 moles of aluminum. If we started with 5 moles and 3.3 .3 moles react, that means that there are 1.7 moles of aluminum left over. So that answers the question, how many moles of aluminum will be left over? 